So recently, I have been surprised to find that a lot of my friends who got tattooed for the first time don't know how to heal their tattoos. In my experience, it's common practice that the tattoo shop gives you a sort of pamphlet on how to heal your tattoos, but apparently that isn't happening anymore because so many of my friends didn't know how to heal their tattoos. And that just drives me insane because I think that getting a good tattoo is sort of 50-50. It's half the artist doing a lot of great work and it's also you healing your tattoo properly. The way that you heal your tattoos doesn't just affect the quality of the tattoo but it also affects how your tattoo ages and I think that that's very very important because of course you would like to preserve <laughs> the quality of your tattoos for as long as possible. I know that most people who've done videos like this are from the States or from Canada or from the UK and I just think that it's very very different because of course you sweat a lot more in tropical weather. Let's get started! So when you come home from the tattoo shop, usually they'll clean you up and then they'll wrap it in cling wrap or sometimes they will tape some paper towels like over the tattoo and then wrap them up. If they do the paper towels thing, I will have to say don't peel it off like you would, I don't know, whatever, like a sticker or anything because it might damage your tattoo. Some of the excess ink is definitely going to be bleeding out at that point and you just don't want to do anything sort of abrasive to your tattoo. So I would say get some warm water and just sort of um, allow it to slip between the paper towel and the tattoo. Then after that, you wash your tattoo, be very gentle with it. At this point, it will probably feel sort of sticky and slimy because of the blood plasma and petroleum jelly, if they put petroleum jelly on your tattoo. And so you just sort of slide it off like this. <laughs> this is what I sort of do. And eventually, that slippery feeling will decrease or will sort of go away. Then wash it with warm water and soap. The soap that I like to use is the Dove Bar for sensitive skin. Now this is a very tricky part because with some of my earlier tattoos, they healed pretty well I think, but I don't think that they healed as well as the ones that I have healed since using this soap. So I would say use the Dove Bar for sensitive skin. It's the one that comes in a green box. The blue one is the normal one, but I find that that one is too creamy, like um, the formula of that tends to sort of clog my pores. So the thing that I like about the sensitive skin one is it's scentless and it's very very gentle on the skin. So I usually wash with that. Then when you go to dry, you can use a towel but I just feel like it's more hygienic if I use a paper towel or some um, two-ply tissue paper so that it doesn't sort of... Uh, Himulmul, I don't know what the <laughs> English version of that is, pero para hindi siya mag Um Yeah, so you just use that and you don't wipe, but you more dab. Dab. Dabbing. Okay, let's not do that. For the first night, what I usually like to do is sleep with it um, unwrapped and also just untouched. Like, just clean it and that's fine just sort of letting it breathe. I know that some people sleep with it wrapped, but I feel like in tropical weather that it's gonna get super sweaty and super stewy and just you don't want that. You don't want that in your life. We are not about that stewy tattoo life. Then the next day, so you wake up and take a shower. Again, wash it with the mild soap and again, tap it, dab it, dab and dab and dab it. And once you're done with that, you're going to want to put some antibacterial cream on it there are lots of different antibacterial creams, but the ones that I've found work the best are A and D. Although I don't think they have A and D in the Philippines, Wild Ones, the tattoo shop that I used to go to, used to carry A and D. I'm not sure if they still do now. The last few times that I went, they didn't. But yeah, um, A and D if you can get your hands on it. Personally, I prefer teramycin. Yas, and it's inverted. So, teramycin. Uh, it comes in a small blue tube. This costs around 250 pesos. And it's just really, really good for healing your tattoos. So you just get a little blob of this. And the way that I like to apply it is from the inside of that tattoo outward. Like that. Until it's sort of smooth. Like you can sort of go over it and it'll feel flat. Yeah, so just enough to sort of cover the whole tattoo. So you do that. 
in the morning and you don't wrap it don't wrap it like I'm just saying don't wrap it my first um, tattoos that I got which is this one and this one I wrapped those even on the second day like with the antibacterial ointment and it just it didn't go down very well I really think it's probably because of the weather I've seen some people from the States heal it with a cling wrap on up until the third day I'm telling you that it's not gonna work in the Philippines so just put the teramycin on in the morning then when you come home at night, wash your tattoo again, again the same way, then put teramycin on it again at night. On some tattoo guides, it says to just put teramycin on once a day, but I find that if I wanted to heal really flat and really skin-like, like without any um, sort of elevation whatsoever, then it's really, really good to put teramycin on twice a day. You do that until the third day from the tattoo. So if you got your tattoo on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. By the fourth day, instead of teramycin, when you wake up, do the soap and the thing and the dab dab dab. And then instead of teramycin, put on some Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion. I swear this is not sponsored by Jergens or anything, like nobody's paying me. But this is seriously the best lotion for healing tattoos ever. I am a convert. Before this, I was using Vaseline's lotion, the sort of uh, ultra moisturizing one, and before that I was using the Nivea one for dry skin, and I'm just telling you that this is a whole other ball game. Uh, uh, and it's cheap too, it's like 77 pesos for this big thing, and it works like a friggin miracle I have some tattoos that had trouble healing and I hear that that's normal like I hear that the way the tattoos heal best is from the viscera out so I've had certain tattoos that have had a hard time healing for example this one on my form forearm it took me a long time to heal this even after the normal healing period which is around two and a half weeks it was still slightly raised and I just wasn't very happy with the way that it was healing but again I hear that that's normal because this is sort of um, there's lots of ink in it I guess as opposed to this which just has a little so this one didn't have a very hard time healing but yeah so I applied the healing lotion onto this and and it really helped now it's super flat like it's just I also have an ampersand on my foot and that one oh my god that one took a really long time to heal probably also because I always wear jeans so it sort of um, would move around a lot and get pressed up against a lot so yeah so there was that and again that one is really good now really flat no blowout so I'm just saying that this is really really good so yeah just do that from the fourth day onwards and I promise your tattoo will look friggin great also I'm not sure but I think that this minimizes that itchy sort of um, scabbing phase that tattoos tend to go through since I healed these without that oh my god these were horrible like when they were healing they looked like shit I'm telling you like you don't want to be in the same room with these tattoos as in they scabbed over and they had they were just not nice and this one on my inner arm this one also sort of went through the same thing because I wasn't using that lotion yet at the time. At the time I was using the Nivea one, it went through this phase where it was super itchy. I wanted to like... I started using this when I got the tattoo on my back, which is a whale. And that one, I was just so surprised. I was waiting for it to scab over because I was thinking that that would be really, really difficult to heal because it's on my back and I can't, you know, like hard to hit yourself on the back which is usually what I do when my tattoos go through the itchy phase <laughs> which is funny because for these ones I was like but anyway so yes this one so yes that is how I heal my tattoos in tropical weather how do you guys heal your tattoos thank you guys for watching don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already I'll see you guys next time bye